Usually, there are three states of matter: solid, liquid, and gas. But is there another state of matter that can fit into more than one of these categories? Amazingly, yes, there is. Let me introduce you to non-Newtonian fluids. A non-Newtonian fluid is a substance that don't fit in just one state of matter. It can actually act like multiple states of matter if it's exposed to a shear stress, which is the amount of force applied to it that causes its deformation. Let's take a closer look through an experience. First, pour four cups of corn flour into a bowl and slowly add about two and a half cups of water. Keep mixing gently until the mixture's properties change. Now hit the mixture with your hand or with a hammer, but it won't splash everywhere. Now grab some and release the pressure. It'll slide between your fingers. Second, grab some ketchup. Press gently the bottle. It won't come. Press harder the bottle and whoop, it splashes all over the place. Fascinating, right? Let me explain this concept to you. We all know Sir Isaac Newton, he is famous for developing many scientific theories. Well, Newton described how normal fluids or Newtonian fluids behave. He observed that they have a constant viscosity or flow rate. These last can be changed only by applying heat. For example, honey flows easily when you warm it, but becomes very thick when it gets cold. But non-Newtonian fluids don't obey to these rules. Their viscosity changes when force is applied, not heat. Now all of them behave the same way. There are shear thickening and shear thinning fluids. Shear thickening fluids increase in viscosity as stress increases. They become more solid under force application. As you observed in the experience, when you hit the mixture you made with your hand, particles come closer together and chop water between them, so the mixture behaves like a solid. Once you release the pressure, water fills the space between the particles again and the mixture behaves like a liquid. Shear thinning fluids decrease in viscosity as stress increases. They become more fluid under force application. Such as ketchup, when you gently press the bottle, it stays stuck in the bottom, but if you press harder, it splashes all over the place. In this case, particles unlock and separate from each other so ketchup can flow easily.